Grade 3 math number 109, two-dimensional versus three-dimensional. Without getting into too long of a scientific explanation of all the different dimensions, I'm just going to talk about two-dimensional objects and three-dimensional objects. Now I've got both types here on my board and I'm going to show you the difference. So this is a two-dimensional square that's flat. See how I can just rub it like this? But this is a three-dimensional prism. See how it comes out from the board? I can't rub it flat because I would knock it over. See? It's sticking out from the board. It's got another dimension to it. All right? We have a flat two-dimensional triangle, and we have a triangular prism. Whoops! That wants to come off my board. Hope it stays there. We have a flat pentagon on the board, two-dimensional, and we have a pentagon prism here that has height and is sticking out from the board. See that? See how they stick away from the board? They even cast a shadow because of it, where these don't. And this circle is the same size as this circle, except this one is three-dimensional because it has height coming away from the board and it's casting a shadow, where this one doesn't. It's flat, see? So, the difference between two-dimensional and three-dimensional is this one has an added extra dimension, the parts of the shape. The first dimension would be length. The second dimension would be width. But the third dimension that this group of objects have is height. Flat objects have length and width. 3D objects have length and width and height to them. So Think of the Rubik's Cube. It has the length of the top and the width of the top, but it also has the height. Or dice. Those are 3D, three-dimensional. Or an ice cube is 3D or three-dimensional. Even the glass that it's in is three-dimensional. A piece of paper, though, would be two-dimensional. It is very flat. It has no height to it. And it just has a length and a width. Regular TV or movies that are flat are two-dimensional. But if you've ever gone to a movie where they give you those cool glasses and it gives you that feeling that something's coming towards you at the screen, that's a 3D movie. That's because it has depth or height to the vision because you're wearing those glasses. So a piece of paper would be 2D and a chair would be 3D because the chair has height and width and length. So that's the difference between two-dimensional, 2D, and three-dimensional, 3D. And in our upcoming videos, we're going to be talking about two-dimensional flat planes, like a piece of paper, in different shapes. So I hope to see you there. See you next time. Bye.